What's up everyone? In this video, we'll see how to configure eyes as a Regis server to authenticate external administrators on FortiGate. Currently, I'm running eyes version 3.1 and FortiGate is running version 7. So let's begin configuring uh, FortiGate and we'll start by going to user and authentication and Regis server. So we're going to create a new Regis server. So we're going to name eyes. And authentication method, we're going to leave the fault. And we'll set the IP of eyes. And right now it's uh, 4321. And the shared secret that we have to match uh, on eyes when we add the fourth gate as a network device. Oh, it's going to be 865745. Okay, we're going to add this and everything is okay. Next, let's create a user group that's going to reference this i server. And we'll click on user groups and we'll create a new one. And we'll name it uh, Radius Group. And the fire the type is going to be a firewall. And on remote groups, we're going to call for eyes. And on groups, we have to specify a name. And this is important because this is one of the attributes that FortiGate will exchange with eyes. So the name we type here will have to match on eyes. And you're going to understand this in a moment. So we're going to type firewall admins. And press OK and we're going to press OK. Next, we're going to create the admin profiles that will be assigned to administrators when they try to log in. So we go to system, admin profiles, and we're going to create the first admin profile. And this one, we're going to name it no access. So we want to deny access to any admin that is not explicitly assigned a profile and we're going to click OK now we're going to create two additional profiles one will be for admin or super admin and another one for read only admins so we're going to create a new one so we name it um, full admin profile and we're going to set read write and we're going to create another one for reads uh, only profile and your type as read only okay now we're going to create an admin account that's going to reference this profile so we go to administrators and we add a new account the name will be Radius Administrators and we will select match all users in a remote server group. The administrator profile will be no access and remote user group will be Radius Group and we'll press OK. With this configuration, we are allowing FortiGate to restrict administrators from logging into the system now we want to allow eyes to override this restriction in case a condition is met so we go to cli and if we issue show system admin and we go to config system admin and let's edit radius administrators and we want to set the profile override to be enabled let's uh, show system admin so now let's jump on ice and continue the configuration so we want eyes to authenticate the administrators based on certain conditions and once these conditions are met, a certain profile will be assigned to those administrators. 
So we'll begin by creating a user group and then we're going to add users to this group. So we go to administration, uh, identity management and groups or user identity groups. And let's create two groups. The first user group will be FortiGate admins. Going to create the first one, and the second one will be FortiGate operators. FortiGate operators. Also. Now let's create two users on identities. And let's add and the first one will be Silesia. Type the password. And Silesia will be part of admin groups. So Fortigate admins. And we'll create another one. It's going to be our value. And okay, type the password. And Carvalho will be part of operators. Done. Next, let's add uh, FortiGate as a network device on ICE. We go on administration, network resources, network devices. And let's add. And name is going to be FortiGate. And the IP is 192.168.43.67. So we'll leave everything default. We're going to enable radius. The shared secret must be the same that we typed on FortiGate. So CCIE 65745. And we're going to submit. Now we have to import Fortinet VSAs or vendor specific attributes on ICE. So let's go on menu and that should be on policies and uh, dictionaries and we click on system let's extend this uh radius uh, radius vendors and we don't have portnet here we're going to import and I have the file on my desktop. Where is it? Desktop. And we're going to import. May take a few minutes. Yes. Okay, we can see Fortinet VSAs have been imported successfully. So now we can create uh, the authorization profile uh, that's going to be assigned to the user once it is authenticated. So we go on results, authorization, authorization profiles, and we're going to create two authorization profiles, one for admins and another one for operators. So the first one will be authorization profile, um, Fortinet admins, and we want to select here the attributes that have to match uh, from 48 and that's going to be uh, 40 net oops do it again it's going to be 40 net and that should be group name let's see if I can get this access profile Mastered. E, group name and group name must match uh, the group recreated on FortiGate. So let's see user groups, uh, radius group, and this name has to match on eyes. So that's the group name. We have to add one more attribute to match the profile on FortiGate. So let's click on plus and select Fortinet again. And we're going to select access profile uh, and 
the name has to match on admin profile. We're going to select full admin profile and we're going to add. Okay, so these are the message that's going to be exchanged on radius and they have to match on FortiGate. And we're going to do the same for operator. So we're going to copy to duplicate this profile. We're going to replace admins for uh, operators. And here we're going to the group name will be the same, but the profile will be read only. Okay, let's submit this one. We have two profiles created, one for admins and another one for operators with read only permission. Now let's create the policy and apply these uh, profiles. We're going to use the default and on the authentication policy, we're going to leave the default. We're going to add two additional rules, one for administrators and another one for operators. So the authorization rule, um, name it for administrators. And the condition will be the user must be uh, authenticated first. So we're going to select network access authentication passed. Just drop here. And additionally, we want to select uh, the user group. So it's going to be the name. And we select the user group for the gain admins. So this condition says if the user was authenticated and it is part of FortiGate admins, so we want to apply the profile Fortinet admins. Okay, so let's duplicate below. Just remove operate administrators or operators. And we're going to change the group name to be uh, FortiGate operators. Okay, too fast. Can you remove this? The user group operators. Okay. We're going to use this. And the profile, uh, we have to delete this one first. It's going to be FortiNet operators. Okay going to save this and let's monitor this as we test on live logs okay so i'm going to open another browser and i'm using this is edge so i'll test on firefox this means this and let's Try to log in again, so it's going to be 4367. I don't think I'm using HTTPS. No, probably this is HTTP. Yes. Okay, and let's try first with Silesia. Okay, and Silesia should be an admin. Show this again. Okay, it's loading, and we can see here that Celestia was assigned the full admin profile, just as expected. And we can confirm this as well on ICE logs, and we can see that it's hitting uh, our rule, the authorization rule for administrators and the authorization profile for administrators was assigned okay so let's log out and try to log in as carvalho this time so carvalho should be assigned the read-only profile 
or operators and let's see read only profile we can confirm this as well authorization rule uh, for operators and so our value shouldn't shouldn't be allowed to make any change on system so if we try to open this we see that we can't apply or press okay and we can confirm this on logs as well so the authentication policy default the authorization rule is the one that we created and this is the profile assigned to him and a bunch of logs there for radius and we can see that it is working as it's supposed to so that's it guys um ice as a radius server for fortigate i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one